Warning, this video contains a following strong language because it's clear on how I feel on this one. So if you don't like the strong language that isn't um, covered, then don't watch this video. But in this video, I make my feelings abundantly clear, just so you all know. Anyway, have a lovely Christmas. Where do I even go? Where do I even go? I hope everyone's seen the news. As you can tell by the title of this video, Stephen Schumacher has departed Plymouth Argyle and has signed for not just Stoke City, but also a relegation rival in the championship this season. Where do I start with this? Where do I fucking start with this? I mean, why? Why, 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 why? Just no. Fucking no. Ah. Words cannot describe you guys or anyone, on how fucking devastated I genuinely am with this news. I'm absolutely fucking raged, enraged. There's no words to it. I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I honestly do not understand. Football's actually the most irritating sport on the planet. How can you leave? Let me share my let me share you my screen. A second, but again, I, I, I don't understand this at all. Let me quickly sh share you guys my screen. Bear with me, but how? This is not the right time for um, my screen to freeze, either. How can you go from that? How can you go from this? To that. How can you go from a beautiful coastline to that? I'm sorry if there's any Stoke fans that are about to watch this, but I'm duff I'm gutted. You've gone from a brilliant coastline to this. No disrespect to Stoke and their fans.
Where do I even start? Where do I even go? From this all. He's gone. The man that I called a club legend. After April the 29th, 2023. For getting us back to where we belong after 13 painful years of being stuck in one of League One or League Two. He goes off and does this. Where do I fucking start with it all? It's all about, it's all about the fucking money. That's all it's about. It's all about the fucking money. I don't believe it. No, I, I just, I might have really just woken up to a sick, twisted world at the moment with people that are full of laxatives. I, I'm, I'm genuinely devastated. And I don't fucking care how much I am been saying this for the next five, ten minutes odd. I don't care. This is the least we deserved after the fucking season we have pulled off so far. I'll tell you what, all this goes on, and yet Manchester City, for example, go on on their own on their own on their own business, meanwhile, going, Oh, it's great to see you back, Kevin De Bruyne. No fucking big Premier League club fan will ever understand how fucking painful this feels that Stephen Schumacher has gone to Stoke. And he hasn't gone for his love, he's gone for the fucking money. He's gone for the damn money because their owners are fucking miles richer than ours. No big six fan will feel like, um, will have, to, will ever feel like this at the moment at all. They'll just make excuses about how fucking rigged the Champions League draw is in, instead on that being more important. 13 years of being nearly out of the Football League, back to back relegations in 2011, 2010, and 2011. The two darkest seasons in the club's history then onwards. And we've worked our fucking socks off to get back to where we at least want to be belong. Simon Hallett, our owner, has made aspirations about us being a sustainable championship club. We're not going to be that, mates, if we end up playing Wickham Wanderers, Northampton Town, Leighton Orient, Wrexham all next season. Stockport County, another one. I hope Shuey fucking realises, I hope, I mean, look, I thank him for everything he has done for us, but, and I am, I'm devastated, but I hope Shuey bloody realises he has made the biggest mistake of his entire career this week. Happy fucking Christmas to Plymouth Argyle and our fans. I hope he realises what he's done. That he's left for the fucking money. And he's left a 16,000, 17,000 capacity stadium and more fans fucking crying their eyes out, devastated and heartbroken. There's two life goals I want in life, in football. And I really thought... And this is where it gets heartbreaking the most. I really thought Shuey would be the man to do it. The man in years to come to get us to our final life goal, which is the Premier League. Somewhere that Argyle's never made in their history. Somewhere to put the South West on the map for English football. That isn't Bristol City. That isn't AFC Bournemouth. That isn't Swindon Town. Swindon and Bristol City are not proper Southwest anyway. They are the West of England. Bournemouth is not proper Southwest. They are the South Coast with Southampton and Portsmouth. It's only two life goals I want in life, and that's Truro in League Two or the National League, and Argyle, Plymouth in the Premier League. 
The Southwest needs to be on the map for top flight football. And I really believed in Suey. I really believed in him. Maybe not so when he first came over. When he took over from Ryan Lowe. And I'll still maintain that Ryan Lowe's departure was worse. Because he fucked off to Preston for the money at the first minute. The snake. Rattling snake. Suey could have built a legacy at this football club. After last season. I believed in him from the get-go of before we bottled that, um, that, those playoffs to MK Dons, losing 5-0. He got manager of the month before we bottled it. I had strong faith in him. I had a second. I had a fucking second in my predictions for 22-23. Unlike the majority of our fan base and League One fans who had us mid-table or below seventh. I had us to do well under him from the get-go. I believed in him from day one, from when he got manager of the month in 21-22. Because we all thought that was our season gone once Ryan Lowe left. It turned out it was. Shuey got us back to at least playoffs before we bottled it. And then he's taken us to another level. And now he's gone and done this. To move to a West Midlands club... For the money and a region that has had plenty of fucking top flight football over the years. Plenty. We're such a feeder club. I don't get it. And it's not just now. It's my whole life. Ian Holloway did it when I was a kid. Ryan Lowe just recently. Paul Sturrock, even though he remains a club legend. He came back. After his time at Southampton. Tony Pulis. Did similar. He was the right man for us. Then he went to Stoke. Ian Holloway said we were capable. Of promotion to the Premier League. With the squad and team we had in 2007. With Sylvan Ebanks Blake. Dan Gosling. Barry Hales. Yannick Balassi eventually playing for us as well. Roman Lario in goal. Paul Watson, one of our best players of all time. And then he fucked off to Leicester for the money. Karma, because Leicester went down that season in 08. But we still went down in fucking 2010, didn't we? And we hit the financial shit. Because no one sees our club as a dream. And it, it breaks my heart. Steve Chewy's broken my heart today and yesterday when all the possible rumours were happening. And I knew it was likely when I read Jay Percy's Midlands report from the Daily Telegraph, a, a reporter who's based in Nottingham, who usually gets everything spot on. And there we are. Chewy's gone to fucking Stoke. I hope they get relegated. I don't give a fuck. I genuinely hope Stoke get relegated this season. And I genuinely mean that. And that's not because I don't want Shuey to necessarily do well there for himself. I want him to do shit there. So he's realised he's made a massive fucking mistake. And the biggest mistake of his entire damn career. That's all Stoke do over the years. Is poach managers off other EFL clubs. It's a disgrace. I can't trust managers anymore. Anyone. I genuinely cannot trust anyone anymore. Whoever manages our football club. Because they're just going to go for the money. He was linked with Sunderland the other week. Turned Sunderland down. What baffles me the most though... Is that Shuey said he was happy here. And I'll get the picture up in a minute for the end of this video to let you guys know. And then out of nowhere, fucking Stoke is, is, is linked. It reminds me of when Alex Neal left Sunderland to go to Stoke. And look how that fucking happened. I hope that fucking happens with Shuey. 
I really do. So he's fucking realised he's made the biggest mistake of his career. Because he's gone for the money. Oh, be closer to home this, be closer to home that. Never trust a fucking Scouser. Never trust anyone from fucking Liverpool. No one. And as Chelsea's my favourite Premier League team, I have clear, clear opinions on what I think of Liverpool Football Club anyway. Never trust a fucking Scouser. Losing Shuey today is even worse than when my ex-girlfriend broke up with me on my 19th birthday in 2018. I fell in love with Shuey. I fell in love with Steven Schumacher. The best manager we have had since Ian Holloway. The best manager we have had since Paul Sturrock. And this happens. I don't think it would have been as bad if this was, I don't know, five, six years time. But when we get just fucking promoted after 13 years of hurt... I'm done. I'm honestly, I am done. I'm done. This is Holloway, Pulis, Ryan Lowe, all over again. Our best manager since Holloway, and he's gone and done that. And the only thing I give Sturrock is that he did return after Southampton. And the other issue is I just think people use geography as the main excuse on why Argyle will never get my dream, which is top flight football one day. He just give me one fucking season of my dream. Plus, the majority of the ignorant cunts think the country ending one of Bristol or Exeter. No, and our luck, fucking Exeter will get... We'll get top flight football before we do, just because they're further up the line. If Sunderland, if Sunderland, Newcastle, Norwich, Ipswich, Swansea, Bournemouth have all done it before, why can't we? Club size wise, Hull, Bournemouth, Luton, Stoke, Brighton, Blackpool, all done it before. Brentford. And I'm going to disagree. I'm going to one billionth percent disagree with anyone who says Stoke is better than Argyle in every single way. No, it fucking isn't. Stoke is below us in the fucking table, meanwhile. Just because they got better resources doesn't mean they can perform. I really hope the Potters get relegated. I really hope Stoke get relegated. So Suey's realised he's made the biggest mistake of his career. We can fucking get my dream one day if we want to. And I don't want anything to stop us. And unfortunately, Stoke have. Because they have just taken the, the love of my life of a manager from my football club. My local football club. I loved Shuey. Absolutely fucking adored Shuey. And you know what this picture is down here? This picture down here is a picture of Stephen Schumacher signing a contract extension on the 17th of November 2022 when West Brom and Huddersfield were chasing us down. He put pen to paper on a two-year extension, taking his contract to the summer of 2027. Liar! Absolute liar! He's gone for the money! He's gone for the fucking money! I hope Stoke fucking paid us hundreds... Not just hundreds. I hope Stoke fucking paid us millions for this compensation. I really hope they have, if they're that rich compared to us. And the only other reason why people will never think we're 
we'll get the top flight, you know, in my life before I'm dead. It's just because we're little Lord Plymouth. Still the second largest city in the broader southwest, if you ain't counting the west of England where Bristol is. Breaks my heart. I've seen every fucking region in this country, including Wales, bar us, not counting Bristol City, Bournemouth and Swindon, because they are deep down the west and the south, get to top flight football in my lifetime. And that's all I ask for. One goddamn fucking season where no club that views us tin pot to raid all our plans. And I had so much faith in Schumacher to take us to my dream eventually. And instead, he's fucked off to the West Midlands for the money. Where they've had plenty of experience of top flight football. But now it won't happen with Shuey. Because Tom Brady, Birmingham and Stoke like to cause every single stupid disruption possible. I don't think this would have happened. Had Birmingham didn't stupidly sack John Eustace, Tom Brady, the idiot. I'm heartbroken. I'm actually heartbroken. Every single stupid disruption possible has just affected us. But no upcountry, I will understand it. No one. It's hard being from the far southwest. And I love and I'm proud. I'm fucking proud of where I come from. Exeter, Mike, with Matt Taylor. They might understand, but no, they won't. Because one, they're our fucking biggest rivals. And second of all, they've had Matt fucking Taylor for years. And that's so much different. I'm heartbroken. I'm absolutely fucking heartbroken. I'm surprised I'm not crying. I'm not even joking. Happy fucking Christmas. I went Christmas shopping yesterday. And I can't, I know, I, even then I couldn't even stop thinking about how much of a dagger to my heart this genuinely is. I've seen so many comments saying, Stoke's better than you every, in every single way. Better than you at everything. I can't deal with fucking snobs in my life like that. Upper class cunts. What's the response going to be from them? What are you prophetic Southwest Janners going to do about it? Fuck the lot of them. This is worse than my ex-girlfriend breakup. Honestly, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. Break a clamp. Bigger aspirations. Got you back up after 13 years, but doesn't make him a legend. Yes, it fucking did to me. I've waited for 13 damn years, bigger than a decade, for us to get back to where we belong. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw up. I want to throw up. It's actually sickening. <sighs> Uh, it's actually fucking sickening. If we go down this season, I know who to blame. We know who to blame. Someone who could have built his legacy at Argyle and, and could have been a Proper club legends. That's gone for the money. Gone for the complete money. And I still love Shuey for everything he's done for us. I still love him. And I will thank him for the memories he's given us after 13 painful years. And I'll never forget April the 29th, 2023. And then he goes and does this. The same year of the greatest day in Argyle's history in years. So, let me just show you something, guys.
All this is a complete lie. This is November last year. Look, fueled by the disappointment of finishing seventh. You weren't that fueled, were you, Shuey? At the end? If you were fueled, you wouldn't be having talks with Stoke. Look at this. Look at the memories you made with us. Victories over Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday, the 4-2 over Scum. At least he's staying. At least the director of football, Snip, is staying. This thing, Look at this. Look at this. This extension indicates that he sees his future at Plymouth Argyle. He wants to keep developing as a young manager and to achieve our collective goal, making Argyle a championship team. You're not here anymore, though, are you, Shuey? Thanks a lot. Honestly, thanks a lot. I hope you go down because... I hope you've realised you've made the biggest mistake of your career and you've broken my heart and thousands of Argyle fans' hearts. Look at this. I'm delighted. It means everything. The support that I have received from the board over the last 12 months. You haven't got that support anymore, Stoke. Suey, you're at Stoke. You've gone to fucking Stoke. A relegation rival. A fucking relegation rival. I can't wait to when we play Stoke in April now. It's our penultimate away day of the season. It's our penultimate away day of the season. I hope we fuck them up and fucking thrash them 9-0. And send the Potters down. So he's realised he's made the biggest mistake of his career. I, I want to cry. I'm genuinely devastated. For me, signing ex this extension says I believe in the plan. I'm fully committed to it. You're not fucking fully committed to it. You're not. Why did you have talks with Stoke in the fucking first place? You're not committed at all. You don't believe in the plan. You fucked off for the money. You've just repeated what Ryan Lowe's done. Except... I only prefer you to low because you've got us up. But you should have believed in the plan if you signed a fucking extension. You've broken so many of our fans' hearts, Shuey. And I hope you realise that. I have been since the day we came down here. Well, you clearly haven't. You've gone for more money. I work hard every single day to try and achieve that. How do you think Whitaker's going to feel? How do you think Hardy's going to feel? How do you think Cooper's going to feel? Azaz, Mumba, Randall, Gillespie, Galloway, Scar, Plegazuelo, Gibson. The list goes on, Shuey. The list fucking goes on. Devastated. I'm genuinely fucking devastated. I don't take it for granted. Let, let, let read this. The football club is a huge part of the city. It is. And you're not here anymore to help us achieve our dream. I understand that having been here for a few years now. You haven't understood that. 
You've got him fucked off to the fucking West Midlands. To a club that's had plenty of top flight football before. We've stood by you ever since you took, took over from Ryan Lowe. We've stood by you. We've fought hard to stay with you. We've got you to the championship with you, with your team. I'm genuinely fucking devastated. I'll continue to work hard for everyone at the club and the fans. We can all look forward to some... Fuck off. We can all look forward to some good days in the future. Mate, you've just fucked off to Stoke. For the money. For the fucking money. There's no loyalty in football anymore. And I'm fucking sick of it. I know that sounds hypocritical of me because I'm also a Chelsea fan through my dad. But there's a difference to that. It's my dad's team, but this is my local team. I'm a Cornish boy through and through. If you really wanted us, if you really wanted us to achieve our dream and become the long-term, the long-term Icon at Argyle, Shui, you would have never had fucking talks with Stoke in the first place. It's all about the bigger clubs. It's all about the fucking bigger clubs. All the time. No one said this about Carlisle, Ipswich, Norwich, Bournemouth, Swansea. When they all got to the fucking Premier League um, or top flight football for their first ever time. But no, just because we're based right next to Cornwall, we can't. Everybody hates us. You may as well secede us to the French League at this point. I'm devastated. I really hope Stoke go down. I really hope Stoke go down. So he's realised he's made the biggest mistake of his career. Let's get on to the club statement now. Look at that. There's a clap. But now you fucked off. You won't get this at Stoke. You will not get this at Stoke at all. You'll be sacked if they if you still do shit. If Stoke do shit, he'll get sacked. And then you've realised, Shuey, that you've made the biggest mistake of your career. Look at this. That screams heartbreak. Suey departs after four and a half years with the club to his manager and will go down as an Argyle great after overseeing one of the finest seasons in the club's history. He could have become more than that. He genuinely could have been more than just an Argyle great. He really could have been more. And I believed in him. I fell in love with this Scouser. Look at the memories here. That's all put in one go. Schumacher now departs for the Potters and although disappointed... Chairman Simon Hallett and the Argyle board have offered the outgoing manager their best wishes. 
Hallett commented, we are naturally sorry to lose a manager of Stephen's potential, but he has decided to take a new role that he sees as the next step in his career. Work is already underway to find a suitable replacement to lead this great football club forward. Simon, I hope you get it right, because the last thing we fans want is to be back in fucking League One after 13 painful years. We have made great strides over the last few years ensuring that we have an organisation and a football philosophy that can withstand a change in personnel. The result has been a style of football that I and all fans have enjoyed watching and which will continue. We are intent on Argyle becoming synonymous for exciting football and for continuity. We will ensure that whomever we appoint continues these principles moving forward. I'd like to thank Stephen for his hard work, dedication and success during his time with Argyle. And I'm sorry that he won't be with us to, as we work to deliver our new mission. Mark Hughes has gone, our assistant manager as well. First team coach, Peter Kavanagh, he's gone. They're going with him. Yeah, Hughes has gone with him. Kavanagh's gone with him. Beckett's gone with him. Director of Football, Neil Dewsnip. Thank fuck. Can I just say this, by the way? Thank fucking fuck Dewsnip is staying. Thank fucking fuck Dewsnip is staying. Because I don't know what... I don't know what state this club would have been in had he gone as well. I really don't know. First team coach, Kevin Nance Kivel. He's still here as well. And these two are going to take charge of the Birmingham game as it stands, unless we find a replacement immediately. First team duties in the interim until a suitable replacement for Shuey has been found. And no further comment. Well, all I can say is... All I can say is he's made the biggest mistake of his career. To put it bluntly, he's made the biggest mistake of his career. Shuey could have built a fucking legacy at our football club. And he's fucked off to Stoke for the money. I don't hate him. I don't hate him at all. I'm grateful for everything he's done for us. He's got us back to where we belong after 13 years. But I am pissed with the decision he's just made. Some of our fans will hate him, and that that I completely disagree with. But I am fucked off with the decision he's just made. That he's gone for Stoke for the money. I don't hate him, though, because I still love him for everything he's done for us. But he's broken my heart. To put it bluntly, he's broken my fucking damn heart. 99% of our fans loved him as well. Maybe even pushed that as well. The only time I've criticised Shuey was our defeat to Bristol City back in September. Because I thought he picked the wrong lineup. So, yeah. Other than that, no. I other than that, though, I have backed this guy all the way from the fucking beginning when he got manager of the month in March, in twenty one twenty two, and we looked certain to finish in the playoffs until we bottled it bottled it against MK Dons. I had a second in my predictions for twenty two twenty three. I trusted him. I trusted our team despite losing Kamara to Ipswich, and we scammed Ipswich for that. And he's, he's now gone. He could have built a legacy with us. And he's instead gone to the Potters for the money. I really hope Stoke get relegated. I really hope Stoke get relegated. So he's realised he's made the biggest mistake of his career. I really do.
I, it's a 39 minute long video so far, but I'm genuinely devastated. I really am. I really am devastated. What should have been this picture down here below has turned into a fucking heartbreak. Thanks, Chewy. I hope you've realised what you've done. I love you, but I hope you've realised you've made the, made the biggest fucking mistake of your career. And it's not just to a, champ a fellow championship club, it's to a fucking relegation rival as well. I'd be more understanding if he went to Luton to keep them up. I'd be more understanding if he went to Sheffield United to keep them up. They're in the Premier League at the end of the day. The Premier League is a step up to the championship. But moving to the ch another championship club is not another fucking step up. I am fed up with people saying his Sunderland links was a step up. This is a step up. Even if he moved to Leicester, it's not a fucking step up. Plus, they're happy with Enzo Maresca as it is anyway. My point is, these clubs are all in the same league as us. League One is a step down. The Premier League is a step up. You can't get any more simplistic than that. I'm devastated. I'm absolutely fucking devastated. And the other annoying thing is that I really strongly believe that we're the best ran club in the country at the moment. At the moment, I truly believe that. Up there with Brighton and Brentford. So, whatever Hallett has planned... Whatever Simon Hallett has planned, I hope it's a right call. Because all the other rival clubs in the Championship and the EFL and the Premier League think we're going to go straight back down now. Just because of our club size. Fuck off. Fuck off the lot of them. We can still stay in the fucking Championship. Especially with the team we've had, who have worked their asses off for Shuey and our fans. For us to be where we are at the moment. In this position right here. If I'm not... 16th! I know that's not the right time to play that really. Because I am devastated. But it's true. An amazing first season back if we stay up in the championship. More than staying up as well. We have to get the right man in because our, and I'm hoping it's true because I know our owners aren't idiots. We have to trust the process, but Simon, you've got one job, mate. You've got to bring in the right manager. You've got to bring in the right manager, mate. Oh. oh, my God. I, I, heartbreaking. Honestly, fucking heartbreaking. Mental. I'm devastated. I've fallen in love with... I have fallen in love with this Scouser. 
and he's fucked off for the money just to be closer to home to his precious Liverpool, to his precious fucking Liverpool and Everton. <sighs> right. Well, yeah, as you can see, my personal reaction is he's made the biggest mistake of his career and I am absolutely fucking heartbroken. I forever love Shuey for what he's done for us, but he's made the biggest mistake of his career. And to put it bluntly, he's a blithering idiot for doing this. And he's been so adored at us as well. He really has. I really don't understand it at all. But I want to show you guys one more thing, though. And this is where it pisses me off the most. Let me get up Instagram. If I can. Let me just get Instagram up. Welcome, Steve. Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! Get fucking relegated, you pesky potters! Fuck off! I hope you fucking fail. And that's nothing against you, Shuey, but I hope you've realised you've made the biggest mistake of your career. I hope Stoke fucking get relegated. And to any Stoke fan that's watching this, don't take it personally, because I just want Shuey to realise he's made a massive cock up. I hate football. It's the cuntiest sport in the world. just full of twats. This, just looking at this breaks my heart. It really breaks my fucking heart. Uh, I can't remember what it was from. I think it was from the 92 Bible. Of Shuey's recent comments. If I can find it. If I can fucking find it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I am really heartbroken. I'm really heartbroken. No, I'm not be getting a verified badge yet. I can't afford it. Let me get up for you guys the worst bit of them all. Just bear with me. It's so hard to speak, I'm that pissed off. It's on the 48th latest, my apologies. Um, fuck off, Stoke. I really... F f fuck off. I really hope you fucking go down. I really do. I can't wait for the away day in April. Let me get you up the 48th latest. I'll show you what pisses me off the most. It's this. Look at this. There is no rush for me to move anywhere. I can't do the Scouse accent, but I don't give a fuck. 
If there is no rush for you to move anywhere, you would never, you would have fucking never been having talks with Stoke. For the money. This actually does my fucking head in. Does my head in. Honestly, it fucking does my head in. Again, Merry fucking Christmas, Argyle. Stephen Schumacher signs for Stoke. And now, because of that, let's see who the candidates are at the moment for becoming the new Plymouth Argyle manager. And we still got halfway of the season to go. It's always Christmas when this happens. It happened with Ryan Lowe as well. So before we end this stream, let's just have a look at who the odds are. Come on. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bother sharing my screen. I'm going to tell you who the odds are. The first is our favourite. In fact, this I will show you, actually. Where is it? Where is it? Let me get it up. This man here, this man here is the favourite to become our new manager. Leighton Baines, Everton's under-18s manager. And they're bottom of the league with one win in 10 games. I don't know how I feel about that. It could be the right call, but it could be the wrong call. I don't know if I trust it yet. He's in inexperienced in the championship. When Shuey took over, it was in League One. League One is a better league to have an in inexperienced manager than the championship. I don't know if I can trust Leighton Baines. The other candidates I've seen, Tony Mowbray is a candidate who's just been sacked from Sunderland. Um, someone that I actually hugely admire, to be honest. He took Sunderland to the playoffs last season when in Sunderland's first season back in the championship. He's probably my number one choice. He has experience. The question is, will he move from the North East? The other choice that I prefer is John Eustace. And I said this to Rosevere off camera, that when it does happen, once Shuey leaves, whenever it happens, in years to come, which is what I was referring to, if anything, I would have taken Eustace as our replacement. And what he did at Birmingham so far this season, in my opinion, was fucking incredible. I thought it was unfair for Tom Brady to sack him. And that's why Birmingham are in this mess now with Wayne Rooney. It has backfired massively for the St Andrews faithful at the moment. John Eustace was brilliant, but will he replicate that at Argyle? He's a brilliant manager, though, so I wouldn't mind taking him. Another candidate I've seen is Nigel Pearson, who's just been sacked from Bristol City. He's not far at all, of course, when he's just left there. Do we take him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard other Argyle fans wanting John Massinho from Portsmouth and also Ian Evitt from Bolton. Would I take them? I don't know. 
they haven't proved themselves in the championship yet at all. But then again, look at what Liam Manning's doing at Bristol City right now. And they've just signed him from Oxford. So I don't know. I don't know. Gary Rowett, he's another odd who's just been sacked from Millwall because, and in a way, I thought this was a bit of an unfair sacking as well. But the thing is, the thing is, is that Rowett couldn't take Millwall to the next level, which was the playoffs, even though he was so damn close last season. And Millwall fans had enough of him. Well, some had enough of him. And he was gone. But I don't know if I can trust Rowett to do the same thing because I want Argyle to reach my dream one day. But I'd, right now, the person I'd take would be Tony Mowbray. And the reason i take Tony Mowbray, he's my number one choice. Oh, and the other choice is Warnock. I don't know if i take Warnock. He's loved at Argyle. He's absolutely loved at Plymouth. And yes, he could do the fairy tale of keeping us up and being the typical staying up candidate. We know what Neil Warnock's like. He is championship through and through. And he's from, he lives down here now as well. But do we take him? Because he's come out of retirement now for the 77th time if he does. I don't know if I'd want Warnock for that reason. I'd happily take him as a director or board um, a board member. But as manager, I don't know. I don't know whether we've just let him off with his retirement. I really don't know. And the other candidate I've seen in the bookies is Nathan Jones, who I can't trust at all. He was awful at Southampton in the Premier League. Yes, he was brilliant for Luton, but then he went to Saints for the money. Saints eventually went down, though, at the end. But even Nathan Jones was awful at Southampton. He got the sack. This is why I think Shuey's stupid. Because Shuey could do exactly the same as Nathan Jones at Southampton, at Stoke. And like Alex Neal at Stoke. And then he'll get the sack. And then what does Shuey fucking do? He could have built a legacy at Argyle. But no, money talks. It pisses me off. Pisses me off. I'm heartbroken. I'm really heartbroken. I really am. Honestly. Look at that passion. Look at that passion and the face. There clearly wasn't enough of it at the end. You're at the West Midlands now, mate. I mean, to be fair, Everton and Massinho are brilliant managers. I just don't know if I take them straight away when they're trying to get their clubs promoted from League One. It's I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Right now, my number one choice would be Tony Mowbray. My number one choice would be Tony Mowbray. He got Sunderland to the playoffs. He got sacked at Sunderland while they were mid-table. Sunderland fans wanted more than that. We would, If that was us, mid-table, with... Tony Mowbray, we'd be delighted to have him. If I was Hallett, I'd sign him up. I'd genuinely sign him up if I was Simon Hallett right now. I mean, whatever happens, I just hope we can find a replacement straight away because the last thing I want is us to get relegated to League One. That's all I can say about that, really. We need to get it right. Simon needs to get it right. Juicenip needs to get it right. That's the only positive I have from Leighton Baines is that Juicenip, I think, really trusts him. But his Everton under-18s are bottom. I don't know. And he's inexperienced. 
We need someone that's experienced, in my opinion, before we go for someone like Leighton Baines. I wouldn't mind Leighton Baines as assistant, as assistant, but not main man. I don't know. Whatever happens, I hope Shuey leaving is the right decision. And I hope we can go another level in life in the championship as Argar without Shuey. And Tony Mowbray is my number one choice. Closely followed by John Eustace. I take one of those two. But yeah, there we are, guys. That's my personal thoughts on Stephen Schumacher signing for Stoke City. And my thoughts is up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army, local club, my club, over a manager who's fucked off for the money. Come on, you boys in green. And I hope Stoke get fucking relegated. I'll see you all for my next video. Take care. I'm going to cry. When they pull on the green, they're all janners.